Welcome back to Swapfire Strategies and Tactics. Today we'll be talking about Swapfire's most intense game types. Drop Zone is the quintessential Swapfire mode that carefully balances risk and reward. In this mode, players must jump off the side of the orbital arena, risking a fall, but if they successfully swap with an opponent, then that opponent will fall instead. Just because you're falling doesn't mean it's over. Look up and shoot, and you may tag someone earning your survival. The speed power-up can allow you to jump far away from the central arena and easily recover in case you miss in an attempt to tag someone. The shield power-up can keep you safe until the split second that you're ready to swap someone off the edge. Just remember, you can't shoot while your shield is up. The shield power-up can also be used to fake your opponents out. Stand idly watching for someone to target you, and then turn the shield on at the last second. The opponent who is targeting you will plummet while you remain safely atop the arena platform. Another screen cheating tactic. A swap bomb can be used while already below the level to give your opponents next to no chance of return. That's all for Drop Zone, now let's talk about Jettison. A wet and wild competition to collect boxes of different point values in the pool of water surrounded by your color. Similar to Control Point, these boxes can be stolen from an opponent's pool and placed in your own. Now let's check out some strategies and tactics to help you dominate in Jettison. The jump power-up can allow you to quickly get a good angle on stealing an opponent's jettison box. You will also return to the playing field immediately, while reducing the chances that an opponent will swap with that jettison box since it will remain high in the air above your pool. The speed power-up can allow you to return to your pool quickly to tag the next jettison box. A swap bomb lets you quickly swap with jettison boxes without requiring much aim. Place your jettison boxes far back in your pool, and also behind the center pedestal to make them more difficult to target. With jettison covered, let's move on to race. This is the final gameplay mode, and yet, it is also very familiar. Players must race over the asteroid field in an attempt to score at the end goal the greatest number of times. It's a fast-paced mode that requires great aim, situational awareness, jumping, and power-up combos to dominate. Now let's dive into some of those combos. Swap your opponents off the edge like in Drop Zone to give them a heavy setback. But remember that they can still swap you while falling, thus creating a reversal of fortune. The shield power-up can keep you safe the whole way. Just remember that swap bombs can break through your shield, and you can only fire while your shield is deactivated. The speed power-up obviously yields a huge advantage in race. Just don't forget that your opponents will try to swap you from behind. The Einros Cannon cannot reach the entire length of the race course, but it can with a zoom power-up. A swap bomb can be strategically placed at the end of the race course, and activated once another player is close to finishing, so you can steal a goal, another pro strat that requires screen cheating. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Swapfire Strategies and Tactics. We'll be back again soon with more strat tags, specifically tailored for each power-up type. Until then, be ever mindful of your space time.